Anyway, um, it's time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's time to talk the law. Everyone pay attention. Don't laugh. Don't clap. Just listen. Legal scoop. Hit it. It's Midwin Charles. She's, <laughs> she's our legal analyst. Midwin, what hey, is going on? Wow. <laughs> Look at you. Yes. Do you want to stand and prance? Sure. Yes, Midwin. Yes, Midwin. Yes, do it, do it. <laughs> Midwin. What is going on with Jerry Harris from Cheers? <sighs> Wendy. I'm disturbed. I'm listening. Okay. So Jerry Harris, as you know, of the famed show Cheers on no, Cheer on Netflix. Not the famed show Cheers. The second show Cheers. Correct. Okay. I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. Strike that from the record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he's been accused of soliciting sex from twin brothers who competed at cheer events with him. Now, these twin brothers were 13 years old at the time. Now, they did the right thing. They went to their mom, and the mother went to the police and the FBI. So what the FBI did is they issued a search warrant for his home in Chicago. Not the FBI. The FBI issued a search warrant are for his home in Chicago. They, they look really young. Yeah. How, how old are they? They're 15 now, but they were 13 at the time of the allegation. And how old was he? 19 at that time. He's 21 years old now. And so what the FBI did is they didn't tell us what they found in their home, in his home, but they charged him with one count of production of child pornography. And to make matters worse, what Jerry did is he confessed to them that on Snapchat, he had solicited sex and nude photographs of minor children, about five, or five to 10 of them, solicited that information from them. And he told this to the FBI. So it's not looking very good for him, Wendy, I have to tell you. But I heard that his lawyers tried to get him out of jail. Right. So recently. he's in jail right now, and his lawyers, as a good lawyer would do, tried to get him out on bond, right? It's their job to represent him zealously. And in doing that, they made the argument to the court that they would take his town home, put it in collateral. There would be three sort of cheer moms, I guess. I guess that's the way that community works, who would sort of act as his like custodian or kind of guardian. Judge didn't buy it, and here's why. Apparently, while he was under investigation, mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. got a little tip that he was under investigation for having stuff on his cell phone. We'll call it stuff mm -hmm. on his cell phone. He got rid of the cell phone, got another one, okay. and continued to do the same activity. You see, yeah. if you have a problem, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Midway. And so the judge found that he was a danger to the community, and so the judge denied the request for bond. So he's sitting in jail, and he probably will be for quite some time. So he's watching us right now as we speak. If he has access to a television, yes. No, they watch us in. <laughs> are you doing, inmates? Yeah, but but these are really these are really serious charges. I mean, he's looking at 30 years, and on top of that, the twin boys have also sued him for one million dollars and damages. So it's not, not looking very good for not him. Not enough. Yeah, no, not, not enough. Not because enough. their lives will never be the right. same. And so from my perspective, I think what the FBI is going to do here is continue their investigation into the case. Because usually in cases like this, if you have five to ten victims, there might be more. This seems to be a problem that he obviously has and has had for quite some time. So I suspect that the investigation is ongoing and there may be even more charges. Yeah, so. Midwin, this is very frightening. Let's move on to the rapper, Little uh, Exxon. Is that, is that how they, is it say? Is that how you say it? Little Van. Okay, there's no Z in the computer. <laughs> says an X, an A, and an N. So I only see what I see. You saw that, Suzanne, right? I'm right. with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, L Little Zane? Little Zan, I guess. All right, what's he doing? So Little Zan. Okay. Lil Xan was oh, doing this, what? This boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mexican American, I believe. Okay. Uh, so Lil Xan was at a 7 Eleven in California. No. He was. But that's okay. 
And he was approached by a guy named Anthony Sanchez. I guess Lil Xan had made a comment about Tupac Shakur. He said something like Tupac's music was boring. I know, blasphemy. And so Anthony Sanchez, I guess he came up to him and said something. And before you know it, Lil Xan pulled out a gun. Oh. Yes. Come on, yeah. Lil he, he come pulled on. Out a gun. He pulled out a gun, and in California, that, that's brandishing. Brandishing is against the law. You cannot take a deadly weapon and pull it out and threaten But they do it all the time. I thought it was legal. It's not legal, Wendy, not at all, not at all. And so, oh. so he, he basically took the gun, and there's video of this. There's, there's actual video of this. Do Anthony we have Sanchez, it? I believe we do. Okay, go. Little bitch, homie. Got, hey, yo, bro. Look at this little bitch, homie. Hey, bro. Do something then, dog. What the you want, bro? Hey, homie. Get the out. Get out. Get out. Nah, just Get the pull the out. Hey, yo, see the right. Look at little Zan pulling a gun right now. Look at little Get out. Hey, look at this guy pulling the gun right now. Look at this. Hey, pull that out again, homie. Hey, homie, you a bitch. Hey, you a bitch. That's why, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at my yeah. car. Look at my car. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not good. Not good. Thank you, TMZ, for the video. Yes. I love you all for that. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's called brandishing. You uh, cannot take me, that a was so frightening. Weapon. Yeah. See, see, it was frightening for you. Imagine being there on, you know, at the scene when it happened. You mm -hmm. have no idea whether this weapon mm -hmm. is loaded. You have no idea whether this is the last time you're ever going to be at a 7-Eleven. And so uh, brandishing, obviously, is a charge that he would be charged with, although I don't know if he's been arrested yet. But what's interesting is that Anthony Sanchez has sued him for assault, battery, and emotional distress. Uh, he needs at least five more things for that suit. Yeah. Because yeah. that right there yeah. is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's not cool. It's no. not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. Midwin Charles, we love her. She's our legal analyst. <laughs> We've got more great show for everybody up next. Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran is here. So grab a snack and come on back.